as a young kid kicking a piece of coal in the back street. And it would crumble from time to time, but we had plenty of coal in, in our house. My father had masses of coal. We had a coal shed. So I used to get the coal out and use it as a football. And then when we used the coal, I played with the flint. And when the flint disappeared, we played with the tennis ball. There were no cars in the back streets then, so we could play football in the back streets. So from those days to coming back to being manager of Newcastle United really has been quite a thrill for me. The last five years have been marvellous. It's been the thrill of a lifetime. I know where the club was when I came, and I know how I left it at the top echelon of the Premiership. I've seen the development of the club, the beautiful stadium, the 52,000 people sell out, the power of the club, the magnificent training facilities, which we didn't have before I came to the club. I know what football means to the city and to the area. I know about the adoration and the enthusiasm for the players by the fans who give the team breathtaking support and literally are the best. I've also witnessed the, the regeneration of the city. I've seen the up-to-date international airport. I've seen the excellence of the universities. I've seen the development of the key side. So have my players. <laughs> and I've actually been trying to go down with them a few times, but didn't dare make it. The Eldon Square, the gate and other shopping precincts. I've seen the completion of the Metro Centre, the construction of the Millennium Bridge, the beautiful Balt Baltic, the amazing Sage Music Centre, and the tremendous housing uh, developments together with the innovational businesses across the Northeast, which are simply robust. Above all, what makes the Northeast greatest of all is the people. The people are just the best, and they, they are utterly unique. When you ask around the country what they like most about the Northeast, 70% of the people say, you, and you, and you, and you, and you, you, the people. And by the way, I haven't even mentioned the weather. Ladies and gentlemen, this city, in my opinion, is the envy of all cities. And it has given me personal pride, satisfaction, and a huge honor by bestowing upon me the highest accolade to an individual that the city can give, that of the freedom of the city. My Lord Mayor, for that, I thank you most sincerely. Thank you.